Well, that's what it's about. Zach versus breakups. Actually, can we say that all together? Three, sure. two, one. And Zach that's what it's versus about. breakups. <laughs> one used wine glass, a scrunched up tissue, and a half eaten off brand salted caramel ice cream. Looks like this young woman is going through a pretty messy breakup. Oh. Turns out 85% of relationships end before marriage, and 100% of those are breakups. Today's challenge is to get over my ex-girlfriend. What fluid is that? There's just one problem. I'm in a very happy relationship with my girlfriend of four years. So, first thing on the menu is for us to split up. Luckily, the producers of this show have some ideas in mind to break us up for real. Ready? Give me your worst. So, Miranda, what is the most Zach has ever annoyed you? Oh, no, that was that time that you ripped a T-shirt of mine and then you never bought another one. This is a terrible idea. Has he ever let you down? I don't think mm. so, not really. He I kept can't... me waiting once and we first started seeing each other. I waited in Covent Garden for two hours. <laughs> Are you sure that wasn't one of your other ten boyfriends? <laughs> My name's Logan. Hi, Rogan. <laughs> I've loved you for a million years. I'll love you for a million more. Hey. <laughs> oh hey. my god, I'm so embarrassed. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is awful. What the f have you done? This is all lame. I'm oh, so this is... cringe. Is this it? Are we done? Is that it? That's the worst. Oh god. Well, that was a resounding success. The producers won, and we've officially broken up. Now all that's left to do in this episode is to get over her. I might need some help with that. Because she meant a lot to me. Fortunately, I found that help in the form of a real ex-couple. I'm going to meet them here in Rosa Pomodoro, for some reason, to ask how they managed to move on and find life after love. This is 22-year-old student Cece and her ex-boyfriend Rob. They haven't met since their relationship ended last year, after her crippling insecurities pushed him to sleep with multiple women. Sorry. Lovely to meet you. So, when did you guys break up? Just like a month ago, yeah. How was it? So. How long was it until you slept with someone else? Probably like a week later. Wow. Who was it with? Sorry, that's not on the cards. <laughs> Oh, it is. Who was it with? Oh, come on, man. No? no, no okay, no. sorry. Yeah. What's the other person to go kiss her? Oh, decent. Oh, decent. Yeah. Would you kiss for us now? No. Unfortunately. You wouldn't? No, come on. I can show you how I kiss if it helps. Go for it, man. What is your favourite memory you have together? Edinburgh. Yeah, probably. definitely, definitely. We, uh, we saw a rugby match in Edinburgh. Really good time. Went to Arthur's. And that's time. Thank you so much, guys. Let's go finish this episode. Come on, we are. <laughs> Open up. Oh, hey, Rogan. What do you want, Zach? I just wondered if M Miranda was in. Yep, she is. I can see her. I can literally see her right there. Six pets, one girlfriend, my flat. No. Yes, it is. What are you going to do with four dicks and one girl? I like one guy and one girl. Call me old fashioned. Miranda, wave if you're not having a nice time. Wave if they're being forceful. Okay, will you just tell her that I miss her? Well, that's it. The end of the challenge. And I've defo won. What a breeze. I got over my ex-girlfriend. For those of you out there who aren't doing as well as me, here's some real advice. Just surround yourself with friends, sleep lots, do as much exercise as you can, and eat healthily. For the rest of us, however... This is not.
how I planned this day, Bowie. Can you cut this bit out?